Okay, so it's not very often that I do um, a skincare review, I guess. I talk a lot about what I like and stuff, um, but I'm sort of feeling compelled to review these two items together because I really like them. And the reason I don't like to do reviews very often is because I always feel like I'm not using enough words or um, my experience might not be the same as yours or you know I I haven't done a very scientific testing of it you know I don't take before and after pictures I don't do all this sort of stuff but um, I do want to tell you about my experience with these two products because I am really enjoying them so um, what I'm gonna review is the um, Kate Somerville gentle daily wash and the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. Um, these are available at Sephora. I don't know where else they're available. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's where I get them. Um, they seem really expensive when you look at the price tag. Um, I'll put what they are down below because I forgot to write that down um, right now. But um, if you look at the price tag, it seems costly but they last a really long time. You only need a tiny amount of the product um, at a time. So they last me months and months and months. So, you know, it's a, it's a toss up of, of, of what you're willing to do. So the reason I was looking for a new moisturizer, a uh, moisturizer, a cleanser was because I was using MD Formulations' um, creamy um, exfoliating, face wash with my Mia and um, my uh, a woman not my personal beautician because I don't see her very often but um, I've actually only seen this one once but a girl who gave me a facial how's that at the Four Seasons in Denver um, said that I might be over exfoliating by doing it every day so um, that was a cream or, or lotion-y sort of um, cleanser and the thing with lotiony sort of cleansers is I really sometimes feel that they, if they don't lather then I don't feel you know clean so it helped that I was using the Clarisonic Mia but I've actually stopped using that every day partly because the brush gets sort of grungy quickly you know the brush head on it and partly because I sort of felt like I don't know, there's something going on with bumps on my skin and I've seen other reports of that, but um, that doesn't mean the Clarisonic Mia is bad. I'm just saying that I haven't used it for a while because I'm testing what happens. So I wanted something that wasn't a cream face wash. So I went and got um, the Kate Somerville Gentle Daily Wash because it went with the Exfoliate, which I'd been using for a while. Um, and I also used the Hydra Quench Serum Quench by Kate Somerville. So I thought, well, I'll give her a go. And this is called the Gentle Daily Wash. And I'll just read you the blurb. It says, um, sulfate free, gentle daily wash effectively cleanses skin without irritating side effects. Featuring soothing botanicals and essential oils, this delicate wash helps free skin of bacteria and pore clogging debris. Calming and conditioning, gentle daily wash preserves the skin's natural barrier function, ideal for all skin types. So, those all sound like great things for me. <laughs> and very seldom have I actually found a foaming cleanser that will not strip my skin. You know, it, it makes my feel skin, my feel skin, my skin feel tight. Um, and dried out when I've used a foaming cleanser usually. This does not. So this is, I use about that much. That, it's a clear gel-like sort of thing. And I should get a drop of water on it so you can see. Sorry. <laughs> um, it foams up on my face like that and it feels almost like it has fresh bubbles on my face. Um, now I can read the towel. Luckily I have a towel. 
look, I'm in my kitchen. Um, <laughs> so it feels like it makes little soft bubbles on my face, but it's still really, really, really gentle. Like it's the first foaming daily wash I've ever used that has not felt astringent and too strong. And see, like it's got little bubbles there even. See, it bubbles up. And I just really, really like it. And it cleans my skin. Um, I'm really lazy at night. I only use like a wipe at night usually. But um, it, it, it's, uh, it's effective. And it will even do like leftover mascara that you know I haven't gotten properly off or whatever. So I feel like it's a great cleanser. I really like it. And to go with it, I have the exfoliate. Um, it is an intensive exfoliating treatment. So since I wasn't exfoliating every day, I wanted a new um, once a week exfoliator because um, I was not only exfoliating every morning but I, with the cleanser, but I was exfoliating once a week with a different, with a Sonia Dakar um, exfoliator once a week, which was way too astringent for my skin. It was meant for oily skin types. I don't know why I had it. Um, <laughs> so this is for all skin types, and um, it's for once or twice a week using circular motions uh, for 30 seconds and then leaving on for up to two minutes. So the way this looks is kind of gross. Um, and this looks really expensive and costly too, and I'm, again, I'll put the thing below, but it really lasts a really long time. Um, this is what it looks like. It's green, um, so I guess that's supposed to imply that it's plant-based. It is, doesn't say on um, the tube. Okay, but so it has tiny, tiny, tiny little particles in it. You can see it's sort of bumpy. So the first 30 seconds, it will, you know, rub dead skin cells off of your face. And then the leaving it on, it, you will feel it start to tingle your skin. So it's more like an enzyme sort of exfoliation. Um, working you know, not from rubbing directly, but from the treatment itself. And I have to leave it on. It smells so amazing. It has this plant-like, but not like grassy, sort of sweet smell. And I, I really enjoy the smell a lot. Um, don't get in your eyes, it will sting. And then you'll feel it after about a minute, minute and a half it takes for me. You'll feel it tingle your skin quite a bit. Um, I have never experienced redness after using this, like for example from the almond scrub with the Ulla Henlickson that I've done a, a review of as well. Um, and it rinses off very easily. Off, you know, I put it on, I do the rubbing in the shower and then um, I'll condition my hair and then I'll rinse it off while the conditioner is working. And I just I'm really, really happy with it. So I thought I'd just share that little, little piece of sort of my experience review. So um, hope you're having a great week, and hope you're having a great start to November. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.